Hello everyone, I'm back with this series. Let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about, uh, we have seen the flowchart, what exactly is flowchart. So we will see a bit of sequence today and we'll try to understand what is sequence and let's mix it up. So what exactly is a sequence? So let's learn by example. The uh, sequence is pretty much uh, kind of same as the flowchart, but the only thing is sequence is like uh, reusable objects. So you create a particular logic and that logic you can uh, can be called in multiple different flowcharts. That's the technique, that's the logic. So it means whatever we have done, uh, done till now, we have done the message box, uh, taking the input from the user, displaying a message, also playing around with the decision task. So, task. so can we do those uh, same kind of stuff? in uh, in a sequence let's see so first what we'll do is just create a uh, flowchart right so flowchart just add it means the start right so what we'll do is you see you can also create sequence separately but let's create it inside here so 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 that you can learn more so sequence okay just uh, drag and drop uh, pretty simple right now just connect it or just say set a start node Done. So what did I tell you? I mean, whatever you could have, you had you have done in the flow chart, pretty much the same thing. You can also do it in the sequence. So just double click, right? Now what we have done is we have taken an input from uh, taken a message from the input, stored it in a variable, and then we have displayed that thing in the uh, message box. Let's just do that thing very very quickly. So first of all, input. I'm uh, doing it a bit quickly because you already know this. So let's just say I'm not going deeper into that. Just a test. Uh, just a test. And what is important is I will be storing this in a variable. Let's just say grade. So just a grade. And store that uh, thing. So that is string, right? So just go here and put it in the grade. Okay. You can type it or you can just select it right done now what we'll do is we will add a message box so message box right so put it uh, here message box now what is the message we want to display <clears throat> we want to display this uh, grid right so grid okay and um, save it uh, it's done pretty much let's make it very simple just uh, uh, run it. Let's see what happens. So test, just say A, then it shows A. Uh, very simple, right? So what I wanted to show you is like whatever we have done earlier, same thing can be done. Similarly, you can also go ahead and add the decision uh, thing, decision stuff, decision task. So to do that, just say if, okay, control flow, we call it as here. So just say if, okay uh if i will just say grade okay is equal to uh a right then um, i will add a message box here one here one okay so just say first grade and this is second grade save it uh let's just run it uh test it a okay first grade can you see this it's uh do you, did you under, uh, understand like how that work it's uh, very simple and basic right so that's it guys on this session uh just uh, check out the next section thanks thank you very much